Get your cheap and safe coins within 10 minutes from the cheapest place on the market. Follow the link in the description and use Crossy for a huge discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid Xbox and PlayStation cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about one of the best formations, pro players formations in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team, the 4-2-3-1. I'm gonna show you the best instructions, the best tactics, what players to use at each position on the field and last but not least, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to defend and how to attack using the 4-2-3-1 formation. But before we get into more details, you are more than welcome to leave a like if you appreciate this mini series and if you wanna see more formation reviews coming up on the channel next week. So guys, let's get started. What I like about this formation is the fact that it allows you to play either Tiki Taka through the middle or you can build up your attacks along the wings and then cross in the ball. So basically guys, the 4-2-3-1 formation is a well-balanced formation suitable for both wing play and middle play. The biggest problem you may face while using this formation is building a full chemistry squad guys. That's why before minute 1 I strongly advise you to use for example the 4-3-2-1 formation and after minute 1 you can switch to the 4-2-3-1 in order to keep all of your players on 10 chemistry. The best instructions you can apply to this formation are as follows. Stay back while attacking, apply to your left and right fullbacks together with your left and right CDMs. Besides that, we're gonna use aggressive interceptions for our CDMs so they will become more aggressive and thus they will win the one-on-one -on -one battles with opposing players in the middle. Regarding the attacking instructions guys, we're, we're gonna use only one option, getting behind apply to our striker. Best custom tactics you can use for this formation are as follow, speed around 90 for fast build up play passing around 50 because with this formation guys you can count on either long and short passes depending on the certain situation, positioning organized passing around 80 guys, it will allow your central attacking mids to create a lot of runs towards the opposing goal and thus it's gonna be easier for you guys to provide them with through balls and put them in shooting situations. Crossing around 80 because as I said at the beginning of the video, you can freely create your attacks along the wings. This is a great wing play formation guys, shooting around 60 is the perfect value, positioning free form so your players can swap their positions in the final third of the pitch and create openings. Pressure I advise you to use around 40, aggression around 80 and team width around 50 guys in order to get the most out of your defender line and CDMs. Now let's talk a bit about the starting 11 squad guys, as I said if you wanna get the most out of this formation you have to use another formation before minute 1 because for example guys if I use the 4-2-3-1 from the beginning of the game Bell and Ronaldo will play on 4 chemistry but if I perform the special trick which you are seeing on the screen now switching my formations they both are gonna play on 10 chemistry. Regarding your defender line it all depends on your budget guys. My defender line is one of the best possible options in the game. When it comes to your CDMs I strongly advise you to use one strong and big player who will function as a destroyer of counterattacks like Casemiro and one well-rounded midfielder like Vidal who can take long shots, who has great passing skills and at the same time he is able to stop opposing attacks with ease. Regarding your left and right central attacking mids, I advise you to use fast players guys. For example, Ronaldo and Bell are one of the best possible options in the game big, strong and fast. Regarding your central attacking mid in the middle, you can use a typical cam guys like Pogba, Ericsson, James Rodriguez and so on. You need a player with great shooting and passing skills. The pace is not so important. Last but not least, your striker needs to be clinical at finishing, good at headers, fast enough to outrun defenders, strong enough to 
push away players. Suarez is not the fastest striker in the game, but he's got the power, he's got the finishing, so he is a great option. With that being said, I wanna give you a game changing tip on how to defend using the 4 2 3 1 formation, guys. Don't use your defenders to defend, guys. You've got two CDMs, make sure to select one of them and attack the player on the ball. Do your best to take the ball using your CDMs, guys. You can drag them back near the defense and use the jacky movement to defend. You can apply pressure using your CDMs and win the ball. It all depends on the certain situation, guys, but if you always use your CDMs to defend, you will massively improve your defending, so don't ignore my tips. Regarding the attacking side of the game, you basically have thousands of options to build up your attacks in front positions. One two passes, through balls, crosses, tiki taka play through the middle, you can go on the win and then cut inside using burba spin and so on. Make sure to watch all of my attacking tutorials because all of them are applicable to this formation. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 18 formation review. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button below for more incredible formation reviews coming up on the channel next week. As always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's in the description below. Stay updated on the latest FIFA 18 news. Also, if you've got any questions, leave me a comment below and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.